Okay, we're looking at mixed exercise nine from the first year core textbook, and we're on question seven. So they're describing a triangle to me. So I'm going to get a sketch, just a rough sketch. I'm not going to draw out the, the um, x and y axis. You could if you wanted to, but so let's say zero one is there. So three four can be about there, and one three. Uh, what am I doing? Can be. Hang on, what am I doing? So that's zero one one three can be about there okay so that's very much not drawn to scale I might draw that a little bit bigger um but so that was my a um that was my b and that was my c very very roughly um, do you want to scale? Okay, and they are asking me about angle um, ACB, so this one here, um, and they're asking about the cosine of it, so that's going to be cosine rule, um, so I'm going to need the, the three lengths, so we're doing a bit of coordinate geometry here, so the length of A, the length of AC, so, so that is literally just, yeah, we're just doing um, distance between those two points, so it is going to be the square root of one minus zero all squared plus three minus one all squared. So that is going to be the square root of one plus four, so square root of five. So that length there is root five. Um, let's do the length of CB or BC, so it's the same thing. So that is going to be three minus one all squared plus four minus three all squared. Uh, okay, so I'm also, is that right? I'm also getting that as root five, two squared plus one squared, yeah, I think so. Um, so that length there is also root five. And then, just move this up a little bit. Um, let's do the length of AB. So that is going to be the square root of three minus zero all squared plus four minus one all squared. So that is going to be nine plus nine. Okay, I'm not I'm not going to bother sort of simplifying any of that, that third down because there's not really any need to. Okay, so so, so that's root eighteen. Okay, so let's just draw the triangle a little bit better now. We've got those. So I had two sides. Um, of root uh, 5 and one side of root 18, and that was the angle I needed. So cosine rule, I'm going to say root 18 all squared is root 5 squared plus root 5 squared minus 2 times, oh, I'm going to get this in, 2 times root 5 times root 5 times cos, and was it C you were calling that one? Yeah, so times cos of angle C. Okay, so root 18 all squared is just 18. Um, root five squared is just five, so there I've got five plus five. Root five times root five is five, so that's gonna be minus 10 cos C. So if I add that over to the left-hand side, 10 cos C is um, minus eight. So cos C is minus eight over 10. So I know it was supposed to be a negative, I'm hoping it was Minus four fifths, brilliant. Okay, so so I've just been calling it C in my working, but obviously um, that's another way of defining the same angle. So, so, so what I want is it I want uh, oh, cos of ACB is minus four fifths. Okay, lovely. Um, right, so that was five marks. So this this bit should be a lot quicker. Yeah. So then calculate the area. Okay. So and. Bear in mind, you could have done this even if you got a bit stuck on part A, because um, if we know that, which we did, they told us in the question, I can just do inverse cos of minus four fifths and get the angle at C. So that's giving me. Oh, ah, I'm back again, right? Okay. So that is giving me, when I do inverse cos of minus four fifths, I'm getting 143.1 degrees. So then I can just do area of a triangle is half a b sine c. Let's just do that over here. So the area 
is half times, so I need two um, adjacent sides, which I've got, and then the angle between them. And I've still got the 143.1 in my calculator, so I'm just going to use the, the more exact answer for that. So sign of answer times root 5 times root 5 times a half. Well, that's interesting because that's given me one and a half. So if you rounded the um, 143.1, um, obviously you, you, you may not have got that exact answer. I'll just check that is the right answer. Yeah, one and a half, brilliant. And yeah, so just so maybe just using post angle for pi.